Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again, of course, with another Paladins video. I haven't played any Paladins in over 10 days, I think at this point I thought I would come back and start off with Yag. The builds are kind of the same, I will go through them here really quick and then we'll just jump straight into some matches, a short intro today. The first one I've shown off before, you've seen, it's pretty much just full ammo with a bit of self heal on the right click, and then the other one just removes the self heal pretty much and buffs out the other stuff a tiny bit more. Pretty much the same build though twice, but we've got Ceres, Koga, Drogos, and Maeve, solo tank here on Yag, pretty much perfect whether she does do well against other tanks and we're up against seven andro evie furia and victor talent wise for yag at the moment they're all solid if you want damage a bit of sort of utility i suppose or self heal for the sake of the video because this one did get changed i guess we should go for persistence and we do only have a series and she can focus on the other people a little bit more so we'll go for that and then the self heal setup kind of hoping to self-sustain a bit but we've got combustible cat burglar soul collector adrenaline junkie cardio exterminate it's going to be annoying snow globe dark stalker and overcharged it's been a minute since i've seen that on seven there's the queue i'm feeling very out of place as a self heal already kicking in there we'll right click just run through him cue there for the reveal and just wiggle off we managed to tank quite a bit of damage there. that's kind of the whole thing you're doing with yag of course other than blasting every now and again is just absorbing a ton i know for a lot of people not playing for 10 days is like a normal thing or not playing for a week or two but for me when i don't play for a, you know a couple days i just get really really rusty we'll just zone off the victor here and blast him he's nearly gone if he's not hitting us we should be all right because we can deal with the fury i'm gonna queue here yeah, sure we are self-healing quite a bit. Is he out of ammo yet? No? Okay. I probably could have killed him if I played that a little bit better. Let's run back in, grabbed a bit of veteran. We've got a ton of damage reduction, ton of health. Tap there on the Andrew. We'll slide around a little bit. That's a Fury ult. I'm not going to try and fight four of them there with the Fury ult up. Oh, hello, Victor. Okay, that's a nade. We can totally deal with him, right? Yeah, we can easily deal with him. Don't know if I can deal with him and the Eevee. We're going to try, though. I'm in a pretty bad spot. There's the Q. Detonate. Dead to the Victor, but we actually got rid of the Eevee there. Probably could have got rid of both if I was on the point and a little bit inside that doorway there. Place myself kind of bad. I'm not really playing around the time as much as i should we'll just right click in pop the q finish off seven here who's kind of low never mind we'll tap him for 500 though okay may have actually finished him pop an ult here on the fury i don't know if i've ever done this in this skin i don't remember the little heart effect that's kind of cute i am dead for sure victor ult will q oh i'm just dead we'll tank it but we're gone three of them on me i'm doing my job here as yak for sure i'm interested to see the stats at the end because i think if i did go for a normal setup i would have just been even more screwed because i think sarah's is spending a lot of time healing other people she's also just playing kind of weird in general there's a right click on it we'll just tap him around a bit can we chase him down i don't think i can really do very much other than like sort of watch him run away as soon as he does we can blast him i guess is he stuck have we just bullied this victor no he's gonna be able to get away maybe that's the mave oh, we'll get rid of the fury victor is still alive on like a no health we'll tap the fury here and finish her off there in the corner you definitely can bully people with yag i'm gonna queue is that still gonna get me or we're we immune i don't know do we ult the seven yeah sure he's kind of on his own here right or is somebody also blasting me i'm dead everybody's on me okay andrew behind me ulting I just feel like in a lot of these fights, I'm 1v3 or 4, and I don't know what the team is really doing, but we'll see at the end. To be honest with you, I actually haven't played that bad in this one. I'm playing bowling a little bit here with Yag. I don't really run the setup that focused around the right click. I know some people do, and it's really annoying to go against, but I just kind of play a standard. And here, we're doing okay. I don't think I'd be doing that much better if I was warmed up. Ceres is just seemingly unaware of where anybody on the enemy team is. I did just pop a reveal, I think, around the time I was walking through. Andrew, of course, just blasting through the Ceres. We'll pop the Q and the left clicks around. We'll just wiggle on the top. Furia down there, trying to heal up a little bit by being on the point. Is he dashing up? He is. I can't F because I'm too close to the wall. I don't know if I've had that before. That was really jank. I'm dead. I can't really fight him when he's gliding around because I can't get the combo. And there we go. Yeah, there is the defeat. Don't think that was a great showcase there for the talent because obviously it is meant to be sort of supplemental heals and not replacing your healer. But Ceres was playing kind of weird. She had 9k heals in that one. I'm not sure what was going on. Maeve did all right. She was definitely the best there. Koga and Drogo struggling, of course. Shouts to a bunch of people there in that one. But we did sort of suffer the standard thing you can get with tanks and especially Yag where you can't really make way and carry a team. You're definitely sort of you know bound to whatever you're doing and you're just sort of a structural support piece sort of speak for themselves the stats there in that one will requeue and do a game too hopefully a little bit of a better spot for it because yag is very dependent on your team greenwood outpost payload i don't know if i played yag on payload yet got a bit of a weird one here again we've got another series they have a series two for the so the healers then we have amani vex moji they have dredge vivian evie and ruckus it's sort of even i feel like i'm gonna get kind of screwed by ruckus i feel like he deals quite well with yag but you know what for the sake of the video again here we're gonna grab it and then the same setup we'll go for haven and Three, veteran two, with chronos one. to start i feel like items on Jagger are always a bit strange this way hopefully especially when quarter rises though we should be able to push the cart and the series to other things but we'll run through them here double tap them sure i guess we can go around Ceres is actually doing the most damage here which is really really odd we'll go on the dredge we'll just blast him we do have pretty good damage output and spam ability we'll just clear him definitely have the setup here to sort of output more and be able to left click right click spam a bit better but I'm just gonna stay in the air and get pushed by the payload this seems like an actual sort of solid strat because he's just got insane damage reduction and self heal especially 
especially with the setup here, it seems to be sort of working. We're going to reposition in front because it won't actually carry me around the corners, but I could go on it, I suppose. We're not going to have anything knock us off until we get to here. There, so it's there, pop the up, but we're all right. Am I going to go through this? I am. So I seem to clip through some things, but not others. I guess we get stopped there for some reason. There's a Q, standard Yag. Jank will just run through here, push on the dread. I think this is going to be the play. Just trying to clear him here. He's going for the ult. Rip Amani. I don't know how she didn't dodge that. Yeah, they're just on the top. We're going to continue to push it. We'll pop our little F on here. We'll ult the Ceres, because why not? I'm pretty bad with Yag ult, Seems like a solid place to go for it. Yeah, there we go. Some weird collision there with the ult. We'll blast through the Vivian. Reckless with the ult. will Q. Perfect time to pop it. Can I tank it? Moji heal from her talent. There's the detonate on the Eevee. She is actually not out because we've got the push. And she's going to stay in the ice block. We killed her anyway. We've got both. There is the round two. Perfect showcase, I think, for that setup there. Team was putting in work. Generally, I'd say I struggle a bit with Yag, just because she doesn't really suit my playstyle that much. I tend to prefer the more mobile characters. And I'm sure if you see the channel, you kind of get where I'm going with that. But... She does sort of do well in scenarios like this where you have a team pushing and doing their own thing and you can sort of be just a pillar to absorb damage and output a little bit and be just generally annoying. She's just pretty good at being annoying, to be honest. Pop the Q here for the reveal. Only two of them on left side. A little bit cheeky. Just kind of deploying here. Yeah, there we go. Sarah's healing me. We're also getting healed from the point, even though I'm only here because this is technically contesting it. This is really cheesy because they can't really hit me unless they're on top, but... Seems like the team is sort of holding it down. They're just sitting there. We'll just keep blasting the doorway. This is really, really cheese, but it's sort of what you want to do with Yag, I suppose. Yeah, they're finally on top. We'll pop the queue. Get out of that in a sec and then run away. I sort of am all right. Never mind. Sarah's stunned. That just screwed me. Okay, that definitely could have gone better there, but Sarah's did stay up for a minute. We don't have our legs, by the way, but they also don't have a Vivian, so it's actually a 4v4 and even. We're just going to run through, tap there as long as they don't get the four stacks. We're all right. We're going to get behind the Ceres. Yeah. Oh my god, for some reason, getting into the F sometimes feels really, really slow. Am I dead here? Is there Vivian actually not a bot? I don't know. I'm just gone. At least we can get rid of the Vivian, right? Sure. We don't even have the damage done. You still do actually quite a bit. Definitely wouldn't say that trading is something you want to do with Yag, but if you can get rid of somebody like a Vivian and you're going to die anyway, you might as well just stay in the F. She's just doing something. I don't know if she's a person. I've seen Vivians that actually just play like this, so I'm really not sure. Pop the right kick there really, really slowly. There's the Q as well. I need to be somewhere where I can actually heal a little bit. There is a Ceres ult. Nice. That worked out very, very well. We are healing here. I could ult the Yag. Is that going to work? Yeah, of course it's got the lock on now. You can't miss it. I always forget that's a thing. He should be a free kill because we just popped it in a really cheesy spot. Yeah, there we go. That is like pro Yagarath strats right there. So it's just getting rid of the dredge. And that, of course, means that we've got it. A little bit of damage on the Ceres at the end, making our stats look a little bit better. She's going to throw her ult for some reason. But yeah, there we go. Victory. We pushed it in like such a fast time. That I don't think they were really going to get it if we just even held them off like, like one team fight or two. And there we go. There are the stats for game two. Only takes me one game these days to get warmed up. I feel like even if I don't play for like a week plus, but 6 2 12, 37k damage. Highest in that match. Even though the stats are kind of low, we still beat out the dredge and the Ceres. We're only one apart by like a tiny bit. 140 seconds pretty happy with that for the rest of them a bit of a mixed bag there as you can see i think we got kind of lucky with the turbo push with yag and Ceres. it's definitely kind of difficult to stop them if she's just tanking damage and also outputting a bit on the point getting pushed forward in the sort of tank stance and yeah don't know what else i can say the game really spoke for itself there in that one warm welcome back with yag of course like i said she is very team dependent i'm hoping that at some point in the future we get more variation when it comes to the builds because she does have quite a few dead cards that don't really see that much play although uh, you know at least half of them i'd say are solid ish you know, still a lot of space there to do cool stuff. And talent-wise, like I said at the start, they're all actually sort of all right. I wouldn't really change them too much at the moment. I'm kind of happy with where they're at. It's mainly just the cards that feel a little bit more rigid than the talents, which isn't the same, I think, for most characters. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. Your thoughts on Yag. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty. And also, use code FROSTFANGS in the Epic Store. I haven't said that in forever. I'm going to throw it here at the end. If you're watching this far, you're a real MVP, by the way, because it's like the end of the video. I'll see you guys soon.